Russian military man Yegor Guzenko, call sign 13th, said that the Russian army is facing a shell shortage. According to him, after Ukraine destroyed Russian ammunition depots in Toropets and Tikhoretsk, the Russian army introduced daily limits on shells. Ukrainian journalist and blogger Denis Kazansky published a video of his statement on his Telegram channel. Guzenko admitted that the shortage of shells is felt not locally but also in different parts of the front. At the same time, it is impossible to conduct competent and prepared assault operations with such a quantity of shells. According to the occupier, he does not see the work of Russian weapons factories citing the destruction of large ammunition arsenals of the Russian army. Ukrainian strikes on ammunition depots in Russia may affect the battlefield as early as October, says Estonian intelligence. This was stated on Friday by Lieutenant Colonel Yannick Kesselman, Deputy Commander of the Estonian Defense Forces Intelligence Center, as reported by ERR. Kesselman noted that the recent decrease in the intensity of attacks by Russian forces, last week an average of 226 strikes per day were recorded, while this week the number dropped to 155, he pointed out. The Estonian intelligence representative stated that this decline is not yet a consequence of Ukraine's attacks deep into Russian territory last week, particularly the destruction of ammunition depots, referring to the strike on the missile storage in Toropets, Tver region. The results of this attack will likely be visible in two to three weeks, Kesselman believes. Since the Russian Federation has lost a significant number of munitions intended for the front line, it will likely have to prioritize its operations in the coming months, he said. Kesselman added that, given this situation, it remains unclear whether the Russian army has the resources to push back Ukrainian units in the Kursk region. On the night of September the 18th, drones from the SSU it remains unclear whether the Russian army has the resources to push back Ukrainian units in the Kursk region. On the night of September the 18th, drones from the SSU, Main Intelligence Directorate and Special Operations Forces destroyed a large storage facility of the Main Rocket and Artillery Directorate of the Russian Ministry of Defense in the settlement of Toropets, Tver region. The depot stored missiles intended for operational tactical missile systems Iskander, tactical missile systems, Tochka-U, guided aerial bombs, and artillery ammunition. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Tuesday led a ceremony on the Day of Defenders of Ukraine to honor the country's military. During his address, he described the soldiers fighting in the military as people of great courage who are unbreakable and brave in defending Ukraine. Today is a great day. The day of defenders of Ukraine. Your day. The day of those who make tomorrow possible. Thanks to whom Ukraine exists and we are standing here on our land, in our capital, under our flags. Thanks to whom life will prevail, said Zelensky. The president also handed out awards to members of the military. A minute of silence was then observed across the country to pay respect to those who had died fighting for Ukraine. Zelensky. Slava Ukraine. Today is a great day. Day of defenders and defenders. України. Ваш день. День тих, завдяки кому настає завтра. Завдяки кому є Україна. А ми стоїмо тут, на своїй землі, у своїй столиці, під своїми прапорами. Завдяки кому життя переможе. Завдяки вам. Незламні та хоробрі люди великої Відваги, які роблять велику справу, захищають Україну. Recently released drone footage captured by Ukraine's 72nd Mechanized Brigade shows destruction in the eastern Ukrainian town of Volodar. 
Ukrainian forces are under severe pressure in the town, one of a belt of strongholds in the Donetsk region which, along with Luhansk, makes up the partly occupied Donbass. Russian forces are obliterating Volodar with glide bombs, while infantry units advance on the flanks in a bid to encircle the town, according to Andriy Kovalenko, head of Ukraine Center for Combating Disinformation of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine. 